بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم so if you want to uh, simulate the routers or switches like specifically in in the ccnp enterprise uh, you will be simulating the labs and the simulation is done based on the routers and the switches uh, we can use either gns3 or evng and if you want to simulate the router, so you can use the IOS image or IOS V image or IOU images. Now, the difference between these three is if you are using the IOS images, this is the same image what you'll find inside the flash. So if you go to any one of the router, like, uh, like in my case, if I go back to this one, this is one of the topology what, uh, what is actually running. So I have to start the device. Anyway, I'll, I'll just, we'll see this thing a little bit uh, later on. But uh, this is uh, based on the iOS image, this one, which is a more simple option to run. The Cisco iOS software, which is running 7000 series, uh, running 15.2 iOS version. So let me just quickly wait for this to device, for the device to boot up. And I'll show you here. Uh, we can we can verify with the show version so if i say show version so normally inside uh, the show version i can verify the version but inside the flash you normally see inside the flash so you cannot see it here but if i go back and check this image here this is the image now this is the same image what you'll find inside the router so what we are doing is we are going to use the same image inside the router and that image can be simulated inside the GNS3 or inside the EVNG, whichever the software we use. So the, the, the good thing about this iOS is it is simple and you don't need uh, complex configurations, it means you don't need to run the VMware and other stuff in the GNS3, uh, even it is more kind of a simple and also it uses lesser overhead compared to the other devices. So that's a kind of an advantage uh, I generally save with IOS image. But again, the limitation is, uh, one of the limitation what you'll see with the IOS image is they are, uh, most of the advanced configurations or the advanced IOS versions are not supported. So if you want to run anything like 15.x or the latest IOS versions, you can run with 7000 series routers with a 15.2 IOS version. But if you want to run like 15.4 or uh, any advanced versions or iOS XC kind of images, like nowadays you have that iOS XC as well, the versions. So probably those things are not supported, like the CSR or the advanced options. So that is one kind of limitation. But majority of the CCN to enterprise can be managed with iOS. So the, the main advantage, it uses lesser overhead. That is something. We do so most of the basic and the, most of the advanced labs wherever i can run the iways i prefer to run the iways that's one option now the next option we have something like the iou so i'll start with an iou now the iou is something uh, which is a kind of a iou iou or iol that's what we call it as so you'll see either people call it as iou ios over unix or ios over linux option so basically this is a kind of a virtual image which is used inside the cisco environment like in the cisco internal testing purposes like even most of the cci lab exams where they simulate the routers and the switches they they generally use this iol image so again the advantage uh, of this iwr ios is it is a little bit lesser overhead as well uh, not as less as ios but it uses somewhat lesser overhead and the and supports most of your advanced iOS versions. So if you want to run any 15 dot or later iOS versions, if you have the proper image, then that image can be added to the software in the I in the GNS3 or EVNG, and you can simulate these things. So that is the thing. And one more thing with the IOU or IOL, you can simulate the routers mainly the L3 devices, the routers, as well as the L2 devices. That, that is your multi-layer switching. So most of the switching concepts, like if you're doing like a multi multiple spanning tree or 
any other advanced switching options that can be uh, done when, with IOU images. So with IOS, again here, one more limitation I forgot here to tell in the IOS, you can simulate only the routers. So basically the IOS only supports the routers. You can only simulate the L3 devices and you can still use L2, but you cannot do most of the advanced L2 jobs. So the basic level uh, that will be, uh, that can be done still with this, but majorly L3 device, but whereas with IOU or IOL, we can simulate uh, L, L1 or L2 as L2 and L3 devices, both routers as well as the switches. So if you compare the IOSV, IOSV is the same as, probably I can say it is more or less the same thing, uh, what IOU offers you. Of course, users a little bit over it. So these are the specific viral images. So Cisco have its own virtual lab, which, which, uh, which was introduced called viral. And now I think they have changed the name, but this is the way they use some specific virtual images, like IOS V virtual or ASAV. You know, these are the virtual images released by Cisco, where you can use these devices instead of a physical box, like like you know the things are moving out of the virtualization. So you don't need a router, dedicated hardware router to run the routing. You can run this IOS V image inside the VM and you can simulate that particular uh, that particular server or the VM just like a router. You can do the routing job as well with the virtual image platforms. So Cisco introduced many of those virtual images, like even there is an IOS V, ASA, Firewall V, as well as the CSR V or IOS XRV. So there are some virtual images introduced by Cisco, which will allow you to simulate the routers. So the routers as well as switches. So with this uh, IOS V, uh, basically you can simulate the routers as well as the switches, which means you can also do this layer two or layer three kind of job. So you've got these multiple options, uh, especially with routers and switches. So, but again, if you go with uh, other devices like ASA firewall, you have an ASA V image supported or some older version supports. Again, you got a CSRV, which is for uh, CSR IBIS XE devices, or even there's an IBIS XR for XR devices like that. If, if you go on, there's a big list of devices supported, but to know the basic foundations, because most of the time, whenever you start the virtualization for the first time, this is where you start. You, you want to start with the routers, you want to start with the switches, then you need to understand the different options. So majority of my labs, I use this at the CCNP level or uh, some enterprise level CCIE, but most of the advanced labs, because at the end, we don't do much on the switching. Uh, majorly, we do focus more on the routing as we do, we do here. So in some, in, as per the requirement, we can use either of this. So the way you do it or the way you install the images, the way you set up the things, it's a little bit different in different uh, different devices. So probably you will see that when you check the next topics, what we are going to cover, they will see how we can simulate the IOS routers, how we can simulate the IOS V, uh, whether it is L2 or L3, the same uh, process, but the image will differ. So when the image differs, automatically the behavior will be there. So there will be an L3 image, there will be an L2 image for this. The same thing here, there will be an L2 image and the L3 image in the case of IOU or IOS devices.